goodbye fixer-upper? What sent them to court? One of the most watched real estate reality TV shows of all time is Fixer Upper on HGTV. Chip and Joanna Gaines are famous people in their own right, and they're also famous for hosting a very popular show. There were dark secrets behind the show's surface, but as their marriage grew, the truth began to come out. Let's look at the action that goes on behind the scenes of this TV show that everyone loves. Becoming a Traitor If you can picture it, being offered a hugely rich role in a TV show while the Gaineses were having major money problems must have been a huge relief and a great chance for them. But Chip Gaines didn't exactly do this most morally. He fired his two business partners from his real estate company without telling them about the show, so he wouldn't have to share any of the big money with them. Not nice. Order from the court His old business partners, on the other hand, weren't going to take this betrayal laying down. They thought that because they were just as important in growing the business, they should have had a chance to gain from the show, too. But he had lied to them and taken away their chance. They sued him for a million dollars, and Chip slammed them, saying that they hadn't talked to him in years because the show was so popular. It's love. And that wasn't the only trouble Chip and Joanna Gaines got into because of the show. Fixed Up shows a different couple every episode, but there was one type of couple that was missing. LGBTQ couples or children were never on the show. Some people saw this as an act of discrimination, and more evidence came out to back this up. False Upper People still really love Fixer Upper and watched it often, even though the couple has been in a lot of trouble. Some things are wrong with the show itself, though. The show calls itself a reality show, but many of the contestants have said that a lot of it isn't quite as real as it seems. Things like the talks about buying a house are generally fake. The house is bought before the show shows up. Real Price There's some costs that Fixer Upper doesn't cover. Even though the whole show is based on the idea of giving these happy homes a free makeover, a lot of the money has to come from the landlords. So much so that people who want to be on the show are told to have at least $50,000 in their budget even more if you can. Hide it Another thing that isn't quite as real as it seems on the show is how far the repairs go, because it looks like the whole house changes when you watch. However, only a few of the rooms get major renovations. Other rooms get only small fixes like a fresh coat of paint. Not in charge When people watch Fixer Upper, a lot of them love seeing Chip and Joanna Gaines make homeowners' dreams come true by giving them the updated home that they had imagined. But the truth is that it's not about what people want, it's not their choice. You have to agree to let the Gaineses make all the decisions before you can go on the show. Not fair. Getting ready Fixer Upper seems like a lot of fun when you watch the homeowners, professional help, you find the ideal home and then turn it into the place of your dreams. That sounds like fun. However, the truth is that the whole thing can be pretty hard and painful like the shooting times are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. More worn out just thinking about it. Three short words. Be the first to say I love you at the beginning of a relationship. It can be hard and scary. It wasn't the reaction Chip was hoping for when he told Joanna a few months later. She just said thank you. Think about it. He allegedly stormed off and they got into a fight. She did say it back after a few weeks, but it's still not the most beautiful thing we've ever heard. In Town You might think that if you use Fixer Upper to find a house, it will not only be your dream home, but it'll also be fixed up in a skilled and high-quality way. But don't think this means everything will be fine. It won't be at all. One couple said that no one told them that their area was very rough and dangerous, even though they loved their house and the work that had been done on it. Oh no! Don't fall asleep. Another great thing about the hit show Fixer Upper's beautiful home makeovers is the beautiful, well-matched furniture that's shown in the end product. But the sad truth is that most of this furniture is just for show. The beautiful chairs and drapes are taken away when the filming is over, leaving the people who live there without even a cushion. Poison Friends Finding out that buying a house and fixing it up isn't quite as exciting as you might think for the lucky couples on Fixer Upper is one thing altogether. 
but it's a whole different story to find out that the experience could be poisonous and deadly. The Environmental Protection Agency saw the show and decided that the Gaineses weren't protecting themselves from lead paint properly. It's unbelievable. A wave of crime. Even though Chip and Joanna Gaines aren't exactly to blame for this, still makes us feel bad that the show has turned dark and scary in general. Because your best reality show can often make you want to change things in your own life, which is great. But do you know what most people who watched Fixer Upper wanted to do? It seems that the biggest effect was that a lot more people stole barnwood and other building supplies. What a sad way to live. Legal Matters Of course, it makes sense that the Gaineses would want a break from shooting their hit show at some point. However, their TV job was hard work and not just because they put in a lot of hours at work. They were also always getting into trouble and controversy such as they've been sued several times, including by a Magnolia Market neighbor over a very heated parking argument. A bunch of not joy. When Chip and Joanna Gaines told their fans in 2017 that they were going to have their fifth child, you'd think they'd be happy and excited for them. But no, people were mean. They said they were making the world too crowded and not listening to their kids when they said they didn't want any more brothers. Maybe it's not the Gaineses who are trouble, but they're mean fans. Put down for parents. For extra bad luck, the news outlets took the Gaines' good news and made it sound bad and negative. Chip and Joanna Gaines are pretty successful, but USA Today said they shouldn't have put their jobs ahead of their children. Seems like parents can't do anything right. That may be true, but it's only their business. Hollow Houses not only that, but other parts of the show are also shown to be fake. You think that the people who are on the show will live in their dream home after they fix it up, right? Many of them don't live there and after the show's over. Instead, they rent it out to people who love the show. It looks like the Gaineses get mad when people do this. Last Words Many people kept saying that the Gaineses were breaking up romantically and professionally. But the truth was that they were only breaking up from the show. Once the fifth season came out, it was made public that it would be the last season of the show. They both agreed on what to do, but it would only spread more dangerous tales. Reasons for Rocky At news spread that Chip and Joanna Gaines had said the fifth season of Fixer Upper would be their last, stories started to spread that they'd made this choice because they thought their marriage was over. Even though the Gaineses said they were still going strong, a lot of fans weren't sure. Money Screams A lot of people were talking about other scary rumors as they tried to figure out why Chip and Joanna Gaines ended their show. Many people saw that the reality TV couple was very focused on making money, so they thought that they'd quit the show because they were turned down for a big pay raise. Take a break from it. The Gaineses finally told the truth about why they quit their hit show even though everyone else was trying to figure out, and it wasn't exciting. That's all they said. They'd been working hard on it for years, and now they wanted to take a break and focus on other things in their lives. Bad Mistake That wasn't the first or last time Chip and Joanna Gaines were sued because of something related to the show, which was a shame. A woman once sued them for $200,000 because she hurt herself on one of the picnic tables outside of their Magnolia Studios. The Gaineses didn't give up. They said that the accident wasn't their fault in any way. A small fight. Their dogs being sent to the pound was a big deal, but that wasn't the end of the sticky problem. The Gaineses got in trouble for not taking good care of their dogs and also didn't pay the fines they were given by animal control. After putting off paying their fines for a while, they were both caught and had to pay back all their bills. Fate and money. These were not the only times in their life that the Gaineses didn't pay back the money they owed and got in trouble. Did you know that this famous couple didn't pay all their property taxes? Even though they'd made a lot of money building homes? That's correct. They were sued again, this time for bills of more than $12,000. Ouch! It's about money. It may not have come as a surprise to many fans and friends that the Gaineses were being sued for not paying their taxes. These people already had a general idea that the couple wasn't always honest with their money. For the reasons that the New York Post said Joanna Gaines tried to charge $150 an hour 
to sit through her interview. What the heck? Feud between Property Brothers Fixer Upper gets the most viewers on HGTV, and Property Brothers is a close second and third. The shows are very competitive, and Chip and Joanna have been in the news for what's said to be the fight with Jonathan and Drew Scott, who are the Property Brothers. The Scotts told the New York Times that the Gaineses were offered a guest spot on Property Brothers, but they turned it down. Drew Scott later denied the feud, telling Fox News, We're one big family, which is why we love having fellow HGTV stars judge us. We know a lot of HGTV talent well. We've met Chip and Joanna a few times. They were very nice. Homes to buy When people are on this show, they've already chosen a house they want to buy before the cameras even start rolling. You have to have a deal to be on the show. A past homeowner who went on the show and told New York Magazine, they show you other homes, but you already have one. Still, Chip and Joanna start every show by showing their clients three possible homes. People from Texas There are a lot of houses in Texas, have you noticed? Why is that? Because the TV pair only remodels houses within 30 miles of their own home, so they can be close to family. Waco, Texas is where you have to live to be on the show. Joanna Gaines told fans on a Facebook Live Q&A, our kids are young, so until they're all grown up and off to college, Waco is where we're going to base our remodeling business. Not given any light Chip and Joanna make all the choices about the dream homes, so the homeowners don't have much to say or power over them. However, they aren't kept in the dark either. The show has many parts, and on design day, the homes find out what's new with the ideas. You heard about the ideas, but design day is when you see what they've planned for your home, Rachel White, a homeowner, told Country Living. One free furniture piece Shockingly, all the beautiful furniture shown during the big reveal is staged and then taken away after filming. But that's not all that's taken away. Homeowners don't go home empty-handed. HGTV always gives them at least one big-ticket item at the end. This could be anything from a sectional to a dining room table, but they can only get one item. Since they don't pay Chip and Joanne for their design services, we'd say it's a great deal. It's possible to buy furniture. One big ticket item is the only thing the homeowners get to keep after the big reveal. However, the rest of the furniture can be bought at a discount. The homeowners are given a list of all the items that were staged along with their prices. They give you an itemized list of how much everything costs at the end to see if you want to purchase things at a discounted price," Rachel White told Country Living. Boards on Pinterest To be on the show, contestants must have at least a $50,000 budget. Joanna also asks her clients to make a Pinterest board so she can get a sense of their style before renovations start. I put a white house with gray shutters on my board and they like that idea, Rachel White told Country Living. We were also different because both Luke and I made Pinterest boards, so she had the challenge of making us both look good. Don't move while filming Gaineses need full access to the home to do the renovations. This means that homeowners have to leave their homes during filming and find another place to stay, and this can last for more than a month. The whole process can take up to six weeks, so homeowners may be without a home for that long. But in the big picture, it seems like a small price to pay for a brand new house. No sneak peeks The people who make Fixer Upper do everything they can to make sure that the homeowner's reactions are real during the big reveal, even if it means doing reshots. To get the most real reactions, the homeowners are asked not to drive by or visit the house while it's being built so that the results are a complete surprise. We know it's hard not to look, but we can only imagine how much better the big reveal is. Getting ready to move in Some people have to wait before they can move into their new homes, even though the homes look finished during the big reveal. Sometimes inspections and finishing touches need to be done before people can move in. We can only imagine how exciting it would be to move into your dream home and then be told you have to wait longer before you can live there. A long process People who apply to be on Fixer Upper don't always hear back from the casting director, and if they do, things don't move quickly. The application process is long and includes more than 60 questions and photos. Before they're chosen to be on the show, they may have to do video interviews, phone calls, written questionnaires, or meetings in person. 
time off from work. Even though filming for Fixer Upper only happens from 8 to 4, homeowners should still plan to use some vacation days because they'll probably have to take at least one day off for filming. We did have to take time off to film, former contestant Jeff Jones told Apartment Therapy. We did all our shots in one day. It was very tiring. Not wanted attention. Following the appearance on the show, some homes get annoying guests from Fixer Upper fans. But one couple had a local tourism company come up to them. A local tourism company called Waco Tours drives by our house four to six times a day to show people, Jeff said. Jeff Jones told Apartment Therapy, I guess that's the price you pay to have your house on TV. Shown on TV It's not a surprise that everything that's shot ends up on the shows. People are sometimes shocked by what makes the cut and what airs on TV. What gets shown in the shows is up to the production team, and some things are cut out. Some of the most moving scenes are cut, which makes us wonder what other touching scenes we might have missed while watching Fixer Upper. Don't work with Gaines A lot of people want to work one-on-one -on -one with Chip and Joanna Gaines, but that doesn't happen to people who are on the show. A lot of the time, Holmes talked to the design helpers instead of the HGTV stars. But it makes sense since the Gaineses have five kids and a lot of businesses. Even just thinking about how busy their lives must be makes us sick. Dealing with spinoffs Fixer Upper was a very famous show that ended in April 2018, after five seasons. Fixed Up, Behind the Design, which ran for one season, and Fixed Up, Welcome Home, which started in January 2021 and is still going strong, are two spin-offs of the main show. The Magnolia Network shows Fixer Upper, Welcome Home, which is a new season of the show. It shows how Chip and Joanna turn old homes into dream homes while growing their family and business.